I, I was at the beach and there's not much going on there. They finally got somebody. Looks like they had somebody there just standing where the pumps are, basically doing probably about what I was doing, only maybe a little bit stronger of a person, I guess, or uh, or maybe they brought some rope and tied it up himself. But they, I don't think they brought those uh, metal J's for the ends of the uh, hoses. But one way or another, I, I just passed by about half an hour before the high tide, and there was no water significantly on on either Bay Road or Lincoln Court. So, yeah. You know, so some one way or another, it's, it's uh, being handled. You know, after a couple of days after contacting them and stuff. So, and it looks like this is receding now. If you look way down there, it uh, looks like it's receding. I mean, we are minutes past the high tide, but but wait, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of odd. I mean, it's coming out of there. That I don't know. It's we it's weird between the drains, which aren't powered here. See, if this was Miami Beach, where the the drains have power, but there's a manhole that does. Well, the drains uh, in Long uh, on Lincoln Court have have the the mobile pumps, but and and they're taking out of the side drains, the gutters. But it's still coming out of a manhole there. So this looks like that, except these drains do not have a built-in pump or a mobile pump. So you would think the level, you know, would be even. If it was deep enough to come out of that manhole, there was enough pressure for that. You would think there'd be enough pressure coming out of the larger gutters that it would be level with that anyway, and you wouldn't even see that happening. So a little bit odd that it's coming out of the manhole here like that, but yet the gutters haven't brought it up to that level. So who knows? I guess it's a whichever route has the most capacity and the least resistance, and uh, there's a reaction time, of course, you would, you would hope. 